talk about um, I have in mind for many years and I'm dreaming for to get these two things together. I mean, I've been taught the Tao practice uh, now is, we say, 40 years now. Okay? And I taught in, uh, in Thailand 10 years before I go to America 25 years and come here 15 years. You know? So that's quite a long time. And um, I've been learn about the stem cell and you have to stimulate stem cell and give them enough yuan qi, original force, so the stem cell can do their job. You know? And so that is the first thing that I learned. So uh, in the Taoism, we very emphasize in rejuvenating our cell through the stem cells. And that is talking about this, we call the original cells. So they don't know the name stem cell, but they give the name called original, stem, original cells. I mean, a cell from the beginning. That creating us. Okay. So um, um, now I think that we have a very good complete system coming in here to, uh, to do it. So my plan to do is that we want the people, uh, whoever want to come for doing stem cell, we want them to be one month here. So the first two weeks is preparation. Okay? So the preparation, I always think about, I need a space. Okay? So a little bit history to how I choose this place here. We bought a place in New York, upstate New York, Kingston, and when winter comes, I say I give up. <laughs> so I put 80000 on, I say I give it, because it's too cold, and the pipe freeze, and the water is freeze, and everything, and I have to clear my, my runway myself, one, one kilo myself, because it belongs to the land. So I said, I better give up. So we lose that money, okay? And we moved to Thailand, Pattaya, winter retreat, many years, and finally said, we are ready to get a place. So I said, I want a place that, number one, we have to have a good air. Okay, so we have our space enough, and the first thing we want is a good air. Good air is very important. Breathing, if we don't breathe, we don't eat maybe one week or one month. If we don't drink maybe three days, seven days. If we don't breathe, two minutes we die. But if we breathe not good air, we also have very bad health. So the good air is very important. So when I choose this part, it takes me a long time to find out. I want to make sure that there are no car, not too much car, no industry, and make sure they cannot be developed. That, that time when I think, because you buy a place, maybe 20 years they change again, you know, and it become an industrial country, you know, industrial district, you get big trouble. When I choose it, because the dam here, and they said there cannot be an industrial here because it's a dam, so they're not allowed. And that's why I choose here. And on the back there, no car. On the side here, no car. On the, this side. So that's why the good air. So the first thing, the Tao Master are so much involved with the, we call the art of breathing. And I've been taught this one for 40 years. How to breathe properly. A lot of sickness we have is we don't breathe properly. So we call it the arch of Qigong. So the breathing properly is very important. Okay? Learn how to breathe. Lower abdominal, lower part of your body, breathing to your root, breathing to your sexual organ, breathing to your whole body. We call total body breathing. Okay? And um, brain breathing and the um, gland breathing. And the olfactory nerve breathing, we always activate the olfactory nerve. So that's why, and it stimulate the thyroid, hypothalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, pituitary gland. So the way we breathe properly, it will stimulate all the gland inside the brain. So that's why it's very breathing is very important part in the, in the whole sequence that we want to preparate so in the people. If they don't breathe well, the themselves cannot do the job very well. Breathing is so important. Breathing getting the power. The next one, we have to teach them very simple how to aware their original force. 
original thought, what is the original thought? When you're born, you inherit a million euro. And how are we going to use this, spend this million euro? And that's how we're going to do. Okay? So we've got original force. Some people, they don't have to cultivate this original force. They spend them all in maybe 10 years, 20, 30 years finish. Some people know how to multiply and have more. They can have more original force. And they have more power, more force, don't get sick. And they're all in one with stem cell. Original force is the one that gives the power to the stem cell. Okay? And the power that gives the stem cell, there are two things. One is the original force. One is the sex cells, the sex, sexual energy, and the pineal gland. And that is so, it's so important part to understand all they are involved together. So we are, we will teach them how to find this original force and multiply this original force. This original force is the one that going to be stimulate the stem cell and make the stem cell work. So in a thousand belief that nine o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night, when the sun set, melatonin produced. And from 9 to 1, and 1 to 3 is sex cell produced. Okay? So if these two things, in a doubt, believe that they are the one that giving command and the pattern and the blueprint to the stem cell to repair it. So if we don't sleep well, no melatonin produced, next day we have no serotonin. When you have not enough serotonin, we get very exhausted and tired and depressed, okay? Because the pineal gland don't producing enough penaline and don't convert their tryptophan into uh, melatonin. And the melatonin plus with the sexual hormone, it will give a command to the stem cell to repair things, okay? So that is a um, very important part, how to sleep, very important. So we have the sleeping qigong to do. Bone breathing qigong, actually you call sleeping thing qigong. You learn how to breathe bone right by bone, and you learn how to sleep well. That is very important. Okay. The next thing is in what we circulation. So the circulation is where the stem cell going to move. Now the scientific they discover that we are 25 mile long of blood vessel, and the smaller capillary is 150 of the hairline, and they are. The actually, the capillary consists of 20, 24 mile long, really. 24,000 mile long, really. So if we add up 25 pounds, the, the body has to build up 5,000 mile long. It's a lot of work to do, you know, to build up extra blood vessel to go. Okay? Now, if you look at this part, we have so many, this is all capillary and the big blood muscle. Okay? The whole thing in here, we are very, very good in make sure all the capillary are open and it can move. Okay? So we have many different ways of uh, going in. But the first thing when we check the blood and the plaque, nearly most of people have it. Nearly nobody, nobody has it. And the problem of the plaque is that the capillary... Uh, some of them small enough only allow one red blood cell to pass through. And the end of it, they are small enough not let the red blood cell to pass through. So if you see here the plaque, where is the plaque? The toxic, the over, uh, undigest protein, undigesting, and the uh, heavy metal all combined together and because the body cannot digest and use them, and they are lumped together become a plaque and they are bigger than the red blood cell. So definitely, it's not going to pass through the capillary. And the capillary is the one that's feeding mouth by mouth. Okay? The capillary is, the cell is so small, and it feeds one by one by one by one like that. So it's a lot of work. We have, some of them, they say, we have 100 trillion cells to feed. My God. We have 66 billion people in the world to feed is a big job already. Now we have 100.